Ms. Whalen, you admit you've been in a sexual relationship with Mr. LeBlanc, a married man, and claim he is the father of your two-year-old son, Vincent Whalen. Mr. LeBlanc, you are determined to prove that you are not the father of Ms. Whalen's son in hopes of saving your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. Mrs. LeBlanc, you are at your breaking point and say, if the DNA proves your husband is the father, your marriage is over. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Whalen, how did you get yourself in this situation? Well, it started back when I was pregnant. He was staying in my house. Um, it was one night I was telling him that I might be pregnant because I hadn't started my menstruation, so he went out and got some pregnancy tests, asked me to take them. He sat on side of my bed holding his head. When I took the first one, I gave it to him and it showed that I was pregnant. He asked me to take another one because he was in disbelief about the first one, so I took another one. And he still sat there and said, oh, man, this can't be true. This can't be true. You can't be pregnant. And it was only because he didn't know how he was going to go back and tell his wife that I was pregnant. Well, he was only there for a while, though. So, you told him you were pregnant, you proved you it, you took the test, and he said, oh, my goodness. You wasn't so, with hold on to me. With, do this. I, you do that. Do this. Because it's like you do this. him to sleep with her. Ladies, ladies, so ladies, you, ladies, 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 ladies. Ladies. Ron, just stand between the two podiums. Yes, ma'am. We can't even get to the start of the case and you all are going off. <laughs> Let's try to figure out what is really going on here. A baby. Now, listen, Mr. LeBlanc, when she told you she was pregnant, what were you thinking? I was in disbelief. I didn't want to believe it. Were you worried about how you were going to be able to tell your wife? I was, yes, Your Honor. I was... I was worried. And that was the thing. That's why I didn't want her to be pregnant, because I didn't know how to... Unfortunately, you should have thought about that desire before you acted on the other desires you had. Before you... Before you thought with his body part. Yes, because at that point, you really can't reverse it just by thinking. Uh, Ms. LeBlanc, how did you find out about this? I found out about Vincent through a, a text message um, through my husband. He and sent you a text? A text. No phone call. No phone call, no... A phone call no, not no, even good no, enough for that. No, I need to see you face to face. Can I speak with you face to face? None of that. It was through a text message. What did the text say? The text message stated, um, I can't believe I did this to you again. Ooh. Again. Again. I can't believe I Wait. did this to you again. The word I'm hearing is again. Right, again. Like, over. So, wait a minute. There was another time? Yes, ma'am. Prior to Vincent, um, there was Jaden. <laughs> Who's the mother of that child? That's I my... am. That's my three-year-old. Mr. Second LeBlanc, time. really? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, sir. We all make mistakes in life, some more serious than others, but to make the exact same mistake again... And that's, Your Honor, why I didn't want... At that time, when she was telling me about Vincent, her being pregnant with Vincent, it was happening all over again, and that's why... I just really couldn't. I didn't know how to bring that up. I mean, but then again, I look at it like this here. My wife was steady putting me out. I really didn't have nowhere to go. Well, and then he knew that that was easy. It was easy access. He knew it was, well, you know... It wasn't really he knew, easy, he, he knew when he, knew when he went over there, it was kids, whatever. Why not let him he could do what he wanted to do. You know, you know, how, you, you know how you see a welcome mat? Like and you can but, walk over it? But, he knew he could do that over there. But let me explain this to you. He, 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 he kept getting put out over here because he couldn't do what he wanted to do. Let me explain this to you. Over there, he knew he could do what he wanted to do. With Jay... You keep taking him back. I refuse. That's my husband. That's called, that's called love. Feelings you can love. put in your pocket and throw away. That much love Feelings you can put in your pocket, you have, can throw I'm them on the ground, step on them. Love, I love my mother. Keep it. Keep it. Ladies, 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 calm down. Because I know you all think it's cute because you're going back and forth, Thank but you. all y'all look crazy because you sit up there arguing back and forth and he doing nothing but running back and forth. So... It's, it's not even solving anything. It doesn't look cute. Mm -mm. You're not getting under one another's skin. None of you all gonna come out looking any better than the other one. It's a mess. They a mess. And it's babies coming into the world and a daddy going back and forth between houses. I'm just trying to... I'm like watching a tennis match. <laughs> so funny. I'm like, okay, now he over here. Okay, now he back over here. Okay, now he back over here. 
got a married man bouncing back and forth between his mistress and his wife, you all letting them, then you all want to come into court and downgrade one another. Come on, man. I don't have time for this. I'm trying to understand how these children got in the world. And now, Vincent's in the world. I don't know about this one. So I'm trying to understand what makes this child different. Why is his paternity in question? There was rumors, Your Honor, going around that um, Miss Whalen had slept with the neighbor. I was confronted at one time by a guy who pulled up on me in a, in a pickup truck. He was like, oh, you know who I am? I was like, nah, who are you? What? Mm -hmm. Did you get any information that she was sleeping with somebody? There was rumors going around that she had slept with this guy. Okay, so let's get to the point. Uh, him riding up on you and saying hi don't have nothing to do with Vincent's paternity. <laughs> We're here to offer proof that is relevant. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Do you believe Vincent is your husband's child? No, Your Honor, I do not. Why? Her promiscuity. Promiscuous, very promiscuous. Like I said, the mailman, the milkman, um, not only that, you're sleeping with a married man, you know. Girl, so why, so okay, hold on, or why not? Man? You ain't got to sleep with a married man if why, he come why, to why, you. Why, why hold on. Promiscuous. You he came to you because you were easy. It's hold on, easy. Miss LeBlanc. He couldn't do what he wanted to do. So you're saying if Vincent is your husband's biological child. You're saying that this marriage is over? You're, yes. you're, you're finally done? I'm finally, I'm at my breaking point. It's, this is it. Michael Jackson, this is it. Mm -hmm. So you say you're at your breaking point. Why, ma'am? I'm, I'm, at, I'm at the breaking point. I mean, it's, it's just, it's getting overwhelming. You all have children together as well, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. How many children do you have? Two. So you say you are at the point now that you would break your family up because you've just had enough. Yes, Your Honor, I just had enough. And you understand that, Mr. LeBlanc? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Is that why you're not acknowledging and claiming the paternity of Vincent the way you did Jaden because you're afraid your wife is gonna leave? No, ma'am, it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with my wife leaving. It, it comes about, okay, look at the name Vincent. Who is Vincent? Where'd she get the name Vincent from? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna need you to use a little bit more logic in these proofs <laughs> you're presenting. Okay, so Ms. Whalen, I wanna ask you respectfully. Are you truly convinced that Mr. LeBlanc is Vincent's father? Do, or is there a question? Is there a possible... It might be. I might have had a moment. You know, okay. You know, I mean, I wasn't committed to this man, nor was I married to this man. So, yeah, I might have had a moment. Well, go it's ahead and tell not... the truth then, because that's why we're here. So, now <laughs> we have the truth, that there potentially could be another father, and so your doubts or your concerns have been validated. Ms. Whalen, did you ever tell anybody else that they're potentially the father? No, Yarna, have... I have not. All right, Thank I want to hear from your witness, <laughs> Ms. Whalen. Please stand, ma'am, podium. I'd like to hear from you. Miss Bird, and please stand at the podium, ma'am. Miss <laughs> Bird, you are Miss Whalen's grandmother. Grandmother. All right. What is it that you have to add? Do you believe Mr. LeBlanc is Vincent's biological father? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Why ma is that, ma'am? Well, for one thing, I know he was living with her at the time. Uh, he came to me and a family member and told us why he was staying there. All Kim want to do is fuss, fight, and F, the three Fs. And every time that come about, here come a little ugly baby. There come Vincent. My baby ain't ugly. Ugly. <laughs> All the babies are beautiful. Let's just say <laughs> that children are beautiful, but let's move on. Okay. So there, after that, here come... She was pregnant. And I said, okay, and then he back with Key, Miss LeBlanc. And I said, you know... I told her she was stupid. There's nowhere in the world I'm gonna have babies by a man and he leave me with them little ugly babies and go on back where it come from. And I started thinking, I said, okay, well, maybe she's sending him to sleep with Kim so she can get a little taste of it instead of just going over there doing the Oh, threesome. no, God. You say you believe that Mr. LeBlanc is Vincent's yes, biological father. Do. But your granddaughter has testified in court today that she might have had another sexual encounter 
Yes, you and I heard did that. Did you know that already? No, you I did You not. heard it in court for the first time? Yes. And now that you've heard that, does that change how you feel about the situation? Well, if she come out uh, and it's, he's not... Mr. LeBlanc's not the father, then I just know my granddaughter was a sneaky little hoe oh. that thought past me, and I, I didn't catch that. Uh-oh. But I honestly don't believe that. Uh-oh. See, whores sleep around. Whores leave their husband and go sleep with other men and let him go sleep with other women and then want to get no, back. No, That's what whores do. Hold on. Ain't no whore right here. Hold on. I never stepped outside of my marriage. Yeah, you have. No, I never stepped outside of my marriage. Hold on. Never. Mr. LeBlanc, you standing there. Yes, ma'am. You've said the least today. <laughs> but done the most. Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm sure it's still going on. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah, another no. baby will come out later. No. I'm with Grandma. No. I'm no. with Grandma no. on that. Oh, yeah. No. No. That, you know, that's here. what love do for you. So... Not from this one over here. Listen. Listen. And, I, and the, the women, you all have a part to play, too, because y'all just letting him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. Miss Whalen, I don't know how long you gonna stand around here being good time girl. Oh, I'm not. I'm I, not I, I don't know. Girl. I don't know. I know you weren't sitting on the porch as a little girl playing with your dolls talking about, and when I grow up, I want to be this married man's good time girl so whenever his wife takes him, uh, kicks him out the house, he can come over my house and we can make babies and then he can question the paternity. That was not your dream for your life. No. You will never convince me of that. But that's the reality of your life right now. Yes, it is. And you gotta do something different to get something different. Amen. Cannot give yourself away to these men for free because you see what they do. And the same thing they do to you, they do to your children. I can see the tears in your eyes. And honestly, I know why. You are not in an easy position. Please tell Mr. LeBlanc how this makes you feel. I mean, it hurts, but then it doesn't. Because at the end, I'm gonna take care of my kids regardless. But they didn't ask to be brought here. And look, we all have our defense mechanisms. We all have the ways that we project, things we project out to make people feel like we're strong even when we don't feel strong. I could see when you came into this courtroom and all this arguing back and forth and tit for tat back, but it ain't no way in this world you're gonna convince me that when that man comes over to your house that you don't somewhere in the back of your mind think, maybe he's gonna stay this time. No, I don't. I think you do. Mr. LeBlanc, who do you really wanna be with? I love my wife, Yon. I wanna be with my wife. But at the same time, my wife, it's a struggle because it's hard to try to be with my wife knowing there's a possibility that these other kids are mine and my wife trying to have a move forward in our marriage. It's hard for her except me, you know, bringing other kids into the household that's outside our marriage. Exactly. That's why you ain't had no business doing it. And today, she says she is done. If Vincent is your biological child, she says she just hit her breaking point. And that is a key word to me because that word she chose, it wasn't just incidental. And you got to understand as a man, when a woman starts talking about you, you put me at my breaking point, because women are strong. We do a lot more than y'all, I hate to tell you. <laughs> but when, you, when a woman looks at you and say, you pushing me to my breaking point, that means you really are messing with her mind, her heart, her spirit. I want to give you all these results so we can see where do we go from here. Ron, can I have the envelope, please? Yes, ma'am. Here you go, young. Ron, I know this is emotional, so please, can you stand between the podiums? I want you all to please contain yourselves no matter what the results are. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Waylon versus LeBlanc, LeBlanc. When it comes to 23-month-old Vincent Whalen, it has been determined by this court, Mr. LeBlanc, you are the father. (laughs) 
Ms. LeBlanc, I know that's not what you wanted to hear today. No, not at all. Not at all, Your Honor. Tell your husband. I've tried to just articulate it for you because I know even as you argue back and forth with them, that's just the way that you're trying to hold on to your strength right. and what you have left of your dignity, your self-respect. But tell him how this makes you feel. I mean, it's, it's over. Ms. Taylor, you say Mr. Brown is an older man who swept you off your feet and got you pregnant. You're here today to prove to Mr. Brown that he is the father of your three-month-old daughter, Melanie Brown. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Taylor, you're also suing Mr. Brown for $2,256 in child care expenses for the past three months of your child's life. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Brown, you say Ms. Taylor is obsessed with children and has baby fever. Yes. And you believe she may have already been pregnant by another man the first night you had sex with her. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Taylor, what exactly has Mr. Brown done for your baby since she's been he born? He haven't did nothing for her. All he did was bought her two packs of cheap diapers. And I let my baby wear them. And two days later, she got a diaper rash and I had to take my baby to the hospital. And I called him to tell him that she got a diaper rash. He said, so what I supposed to do? That ain't my baby. Mr. Brown? Yes. So you bought some cheap diapers because you didn't think it was your baby? Yes, I mean, it was better than nothing, I thought, probably. Because I didn't really know whether it was my baby or not, so I can't take care of somebody else's baby. So did you have sex with Miss Taylor? Yes. Did you use protection? Uh, not all the time. Well, then, there's a possibility it could be your baby. Yeah. All right, you all take me back. So you say up until this point, three months old, nothing. He's done nothing except nothing. those two cheap yeah. diapers. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Taylor, have you tried at all to get Mr. Brown involved? Have you called him? Have you said, do you want to come by and see the baby? Yes, Your Honor. Every time I call him, he say, that ain't my baby. You need to go find your baby daddy and stop calling me. What? Well, actually, she didn't know that I, was, that I had a condom on. He I didn't use the condom, Your Honor. Bottom line is, you say no protection was used. You say you did. Yes. Now, how did you guys even meet? I met him at the club. Um, it was right after my 18th birthday, and I went to the club, and I was drinking and dancing with my friends, and he came up to me and was like, you're beautiful, and i like to get to know you, and we went back to his place. Well, she was more asking me to come back to my place. No, I wasn't, Your Honor. He was coming on to he me. He came up to you in the club? Yes, Your Honor. And you how old? 18. And he was how old? 32. What? 32, Your Honor. How old are you, sir? 32. 32. I always say, beware the old man in the club. Hey. <laughs> um... <laughs> Continue, Miss Taylor. So, I go back to his place, and we got into it. Like, we had well, sex she, or whatever. She kept... She kept asking me about, like, hey, do you like babies? Or... No, I was not, Your Honor. Uh, we didn't uh, even I'm like, talk. I like babies. This is my first time meeting her. She's talking about, oh, do you like babies? Or how do you feel about babies? I'm thinking that she was already pregnant. And yet you still went ahead and had sex with her. Yes. That should have been a note to sell. <laughs> so was this ever a relationship or a uh, extended no, it was play just, uh, booty call? It was just a booty call. What this, was this? This is a booty call. It was just a booty call. 32-year-old man with an 18-year-old girl. Well, uh, well, actually, I was 31 then, so... <laughs> so, Ms. Taylor, were you interested in him were you interested in him being your boyfriend? Were you yes, interested in I having... Yes, I felt like, Your Honor, the only reason I went back to his place is because I felt like we would be more than what it came out to be because I thought he would be more mature because he's older. I always was interested in to older men, but he turned out just to be like the rest of them. I think That's what looking, you're thinking I think she was as... looking for a daddy. <laughs> a, 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 a father figure or, or, a, or a father for her baby. Because you, you are the father of my baby. she was already pregnant. Yes. I and was then, not, Your Honor. The first, the first time we used a condom. The second time we used... If I was already pregnant, how come my baby three months? I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. The, the third time the condom broke... The condom broke? Yes. So, in fact, you could and potentially she, be and then she kept Melanie's saying, father. Keep going, keep going. I was like, no, no. And then... <laughs> and I told her I'd be back. And I left. <laughs> It was never no condom in the first place. Okay. So, when you find out you're pregnant, are you still in a sexual relationship? 
No, we had them stop. I hadn't heard from him in like a couple of weeks. And then my cycle was late. So I went and took a pregnancy test. And then a week she later, called me like, like and two I took another after one. We had sex Can I finish? Pregnant. Can I finish? And, and, and I'm like, pregnant? Can I, can I pregnant? I said pregnant four times. Like, how? Your Honor. <laughs> You said pregnant four times? Right, so I'm like, how you So, pregnant? and every time she said yes, she's still pregnant. Right. And then... Obviously, she was. <laughs> At this point, what reaction did you get from him? Was he happy? He said, was he... He said, we only had three times. I woke calm today, my baby. You need to go so find your baby daddy. So, he immediately denied the baby? Yes, Your Honor. Because, Mr. Brown, find... you... Okay, she needs to find her baby daddy. You are my because baby daddy. I started doing some research on her, and I found some colored pictures of her. What is this, sir? And she portrays herself to be such a good girl. And these but, are uh, pictures of what? Of her, you know, around the time she said she got pregnant. So you found these pictures. Right. And so, in your mind, you said what? I was trying to find the baby daddy for her. <laughs> you know, you got jokes, but it's interesting to me that you did your research after she told you she was pregnant when you should have been doing research, both of you, before you ever jumped in the bed together. <laughs> You go through your whole pregnancy by yourself? He only came around like three times when he wanted to have sex. Is he in the delivery room with you? He came after I had the baby and he hold the baby. I have a picture of him we holding the baby. We only had sex once when she was pregnant anyway. I have a picture of him Let holding the baby. And wrong. then he said he, for five minutes, then he said he was going to smoke a cigarette and he never came back, Your Honor. <laughs> your nerves because... were shot. Because I didn't feel a bond. See, this, this is a picture here of you. Right. And this is holding... Melanie. Melanie. As soon as she put it the baby It looks in my... like you're looking at her in a loving way. No, I'm... I was looking like... I gotta go. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be patient, Mr. Brown. You more immature... Than a rest of Than an 18-year-old that she could've dated. How do you say you looking at a beautiful newborn baby like, I gotta go? <laughs> And then you go outside, you tell her I'm going out to smoke and you never come back. Cause my other baby, as soon as I held the baby, I felt a bond. So you are a father? Yes. How many other children do you have? Five. <laughs> okay, did you put him on the birth certificate? Yes. You put his name down? Yeah. You have a copy of that birth certificate? I never put my name on there. I didn't know my name was even on there. So this is a copy of Melanie's birth certificate. Yeah. Mr. Brown, you see your name there, right? I, I didn't know it was there. You never seen this birth certificate? Mm -mm. Jerome, if you'd like to hand that to Mr. Brown, he can see his name on that birth certificate. Mm. That establishes paternity, and so you are legally responsible to support that child. Have you received any notice from the court? You should check your mail. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are you still interested in being with this man? Are you, like, in love with him or something? Yeah, she's in love, because no, she keeps trying to hound me down. I'm not in love with him. I just want him to be there for my baby. Okay. So, you say she's trying to hound you down. Yeah, I'm not trying to hound him down. Right. He be she calling me for call. Is she calling you about the child? Yes, I do call him about the child. I be trying to see if he can. He come see her or bring me stuff. He say, go find your baby dad. That's not my baby. Stop calling me and he'll hang up. So I be feeling like she's trying to, you know, just lure me over there, maybe to have sex with me or something like that. I feel like if I give him what he want, he'll give me what I want. And I want him to take care and of my baby. And this is exactly why young girls have no business having babies, because that math you just stated has never added up. That's not how it works. And it never ceases to amaze me how many young women stand before me and will have a baby by a man that doesn't want them and then act surprised that he don't want the baby. Okay. Come on, Miss Taylor. He never wanted to be your boyfriend. No. Your husband. And I kind of know that but she I was... didn't try to get pregnant, Your Honor. Yeah, she Listen. Yeah, she was Listen. Failure to protect yourself leaves the door open for the exact situation you are in today. You must learn this lesson. 
When you offer a man sex in exchange for something, love, attention, you want him to take care of the baby, understand this. Nine times out of 10, he gonna come get the sex, tell you he going out to smoke, <laughs> then never come back. <laughs> Do you get it? Hey, Your Honor. You're replaying the same situation over and over again. Yes, sir, what would and, you like to add? And then, like, another main reason why, you know, I don't trust her is because I have a, uh, a witness, my brother, uh, seen her around town with some uh, men before. It's so, not wrong with me hanging out with people. And I'm like hanging out with my brother in, and Jerome, his Will you please friend. escort the witness into the courtroom? Sir, so I need you to come with me. I'm gonna bring you up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Thank you for being with us today, sir. State your name for the court. Not seeing Seymour. Mr. Seymour, who are you? You are? Marcus's brother. All right, and you know Miss Taylor? Yes, ma'am. How do you know Miss Taylor? Uh, I was there when everything took place, and I was there when they first had met. When everything took place? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was there at the club. Okay, the yeah. night they met. Yes, ma'am. You were there. Yes, ma'am. And what did you observe, and what do you have to add? But uh, a couple of days on after we had left the club, I'm walking out my apartment complex to go get something to eat. And um, as I'm walking out, I see Miss Taylor walking in. And you know, and she walking in with a couple of my homeboys from the same apartment complex. So, um... Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Do you think she was having sex with them or they were having sex with her? I mean, I know they don't want no girlfriends. So do you think that that's what they were doing? I'm pretty sure there's a great possibility that that's, the, that's what they were doing. That's not true, Your Honor. So were you with these men? Yeah, I was, they're my brother's friend, so I didn't have no problem with hang, hanging out with my brother's friend. And when is it wrong with me hanging out with anybody? I wasn't having sex with them. I was just hanging out. He just seen me walking, and he assuming. Technically, it's not an assumption if somebody already told me what's going on. Well, they told you a story. Okay. Um, ain't and none what of that did happened. they tell you? She not this little innocent girl. You know, she, she get around. Okay. So... You then conveyed this to Mr. Brown. Yes, ma'am. Immediately. I ain't even gonna get nothing to eat. Immediately, I had... <laughs> <laughs> I got him on the phone immediately, and I said, hey, um, remember a couple nights ago when we was at the club? I just seen her out here where I'm at right now, like, right now. And then that's when I was like, that's not my baby. Uh, you know? <laughs> you just took a long leap to that. <laughs> uh, I will give you this, Mr. Brown. Hearing this kind of news would definitely lead you to have some doubt, and I get that. But the truth is, I've asked you a million times, both of you, throughout this case, were you in a relationship? Were you committed? Neither one of you say you were committed. So the truth is, both of you were probably sleeping with other people. So regarding your suit, you brought him here uh, because you believe he is responsible for half of the child care expenses. I have my expenses of all the stuff. You have... Uh, thank you. Jerome, will you please pass that you up to You need to get that to the real baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so your weekly expenses, your formula, $60 a week, diapers, clothes, cereal. Total weekly cost, $188 a week to raise your child times... 12 weeks because she's three months old, $2,256 in child care expenses you spent thus far. Mr. Brown, you admit you spent $4 on some diapers, right? Yeah, $4 twice. <laughs> $4 two times. Yeah. So that's $8. And that's why my baby broke out, for them cheap diapers. Have you done anything else for this baby? No. Anything? I held her another time. One time. <laughs> One time, you call that. I, I That's not doing nothing. That's not doing I nothing. Don't, I don't think the baby's mine. It is your baby. I, I, I don't have a she look like you. She got your eyebrows. She got All your babies look like when they be young like All that. All right. <laughs> this situation, it upsets me. I just don't want to take care of babies. Looking at this beautiful little mine. baby. That and both of baby. you all sitting up here, neither one of you can barely string a sentence together that makes sense. I'm gonna rule on this uh, suit after I get the results because, of course, your legal obligation to this child is dependent upon whether you are found to be her biological father. Jerome, let's get to the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows.
In the case of Taylor versus Brown, pertaining to three-month-old Melanie Brown, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Brown, you are the father. I told you. Can I have that paper, Your Honor? Well, now I can hold her again. <laughs> You, that is so sad. That now, is so now sad. Now, I do this, something now, though. Ms. Taylor, as for so your sad. suit for half of the child care expenses, it has been determined by this court that Mr. Brown is, in fact, Melanie's biological father. Therefore, you were suing for $2,256 in total expenses. Mr. Brown has admitted that he has given $8 of those total expenses, right? So, therefore, doing the math, he's going to owe you $1,120. Four dollars. So I will rule on that suit in favor of you for that amount. Mr. Brown, you owe her that. Yes. She's been taking care of this baby by herself for three months, right? Yes, ma'am. I actually see a little emotion in your eyes. Is it hitting you now? Yes, ma'am. He faking. That you have a beautiful little girl? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Tory and Ms. Henderson, you have both entered the court today with cases against the defendant, Mr. Goodson. You have joined together because you, Ms. Tory, claim the defendant is denying he is the father of your two kids. And Ms. Henderson, you state Mr. Goodson refuses to take responsibility for your four-year-old daughter. Yes, Your Honor. You have both asked the court to award paternity tests and enforce his financial obligations as a father. Now, Mr. Goodson, you claim Ms. Tory has admitted that she cheated on you in the past and she is also not confident that you are the children's biological father. Yes. Although you are actually hoping the test proves that you are. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Additionally, you state Ms. Henderson slept with you and your cousin in the same time frame and therefore you can't be sure Which was a lie. her daughter is yours. Please tell us about your story. My story is that I went on a chat line one day and I met his cousin on the chat line. Mm -hmm. And he know that so far, when we met on the chat line, I was just looking for friends, someone to hang out with on, you know, a regular basis mm -hmm. and smoke and drink. So one day he came <laughs> to pick me up in a white car, a white truck, bumping music all loud or whatnot or whatever. He in the back car, like, looking at me like, ooh, he wanted me or whatever. So we went to go take some drinks or whatnot, listening to music. They recording music, they rapping, and I'm singing on their songs or whatnot, having fun. Mm -hmm. So after that night was over, he dropped me back off at home. An hour later, he come calling me like, what's up, baby? I'm like, who is this? He like, this chub, this chubby. Oh, you don't remember the dude in the back of the car? I'm like, dang, why you calling me? He like, I think you cute. Okay, watch the language now. I know, I know you, I know you giving it verbatim, but like, you know, shoot, it think, is court. Okay, I'm sorry. He like, shoot, I think you cute. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. We just mm -hmm. got to talking. Then next thing you know, he like, shoot, baby, can I come see you? I'm like, yeah, you come see me. What's up? So he came to see me in the Stolo, which they call down in St. Louis. It's a stolen car. So he come picks me up in the Stolo. Oh. And I'm getting, re I'm getting dressed or whatnot, and I'm looking out the window. He like, yeah, boo, I'm outside. Next thing you know, we come to police like, freeze. Get out the car. <laughs> I'm like, really? You came to pick me up in the stolen car? What? It's really right. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't know nothing about I don't know nothing I believe about because one day his mama said she stole his he stole her car to come and see me. Oh. Okay, <laughs> this is uh, uh. <laughs> I can't believe you sitting up here talking about he came to pick you up in a stolen car. That's what he came to pick me up in. I didn't ask him what he was gonna come pick me up in, but he came to pick me up in a stolen car. I'm about to go out the door to go get in it like that's, a dummy. That's because she wanted to get away from my cousin, so I had to go. Why would you talk to him if you know your cousin was talking to him? Because he no, don't care. No, because she left my nah. cousin for me. So... But you calling her. <laughs> Listen, I want to get past mm -hmm. the stolen car. I want to move forward because obviously this relationship heated up from that's what's up, yeah, whatever. Right. Yeah, so whatever. Whatever's Pretty going much. on. We was young. Dumb. Right. So it heated up. You all 
became involved sexually. And sexually. Right. After he got out of jail from stealing the car, he called me. <laughs> he called me like, can I come see you or whatnot? And I'm like, yeah, he came to see me again, but this time it was with his Caucasian homeboy and his son. <laughs> and so I hopped in the van with them. We went to their house. Did you got... check the registration? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't check the registration. <laughs> So we went to go kick it or whatnot, and we all got drunk again and smoked again, and that was the first time we first had sex. After that, we was having sex for a year unprotectedly. Did you have sex with me and my cousin, though? No, that I never had sex with your cousin. Unprotected never. sex, okay. Unprotected sex for a year before we broke up. When we broke up, the only reason we broke up is because he called me on the phone saying he getting some sex from some other female he in the background. He called to tell you? He called to tell me. I'm like, really? Like, I'm supposed to just sit here and listen to it. Did you call her to tell her this? No, you Honor. I didn't even know me and her was supposed to be together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like you I thought y'all were just kicking it, I like, thought, Yeah, you know, so like she you said, we, have we just... You don't sex with me. I'm and then call you... Hoping that I don't get pregnant for a year. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, at the time, she was a little bit older than me or whatever, so I liked it that she was older. Uh -huh. And, and she was working. age, first she was, of all. Listen, I never lied about the age. Oh, my God. But, like I was saying, she had a little bit of money. I didn't, I didn't have no money. I couldn't work at the time. I was a little bit younger than her. So, you know what I'm saying, the money what kind of got me into liking her and what, what was messing with her. That's all. So, I really, I really, I really kind of wanted the money in and a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, you know? So, what I'm still trying to understand is, even if you didn't think you were in a committed relationship, what woman, that, you know, you're sleeping with this woman, you're in some type of sexual relationship, wants to get a call from you saying that you have a sex with somebody else? Right. She never got I a mean, call. he didn't that same never way. You never that made way. that call. No, man. Okay, so he's I mean, saying so that's a lot. So time, drunk, he don't remember what happened. From time to time, I mean, I have done that with Adrian before. All right, so, Miss Henderson, you're pregnant, and you say to yourself, what? I'm this... pregnant, then it might be his, because at the time that I was with my boyfriend, I was messing around with him. Keyword, boyfriend. I wasn't even around. You was around. You always around. You just was over my house last month. <laughs> so, Mr. Goodson, do you believe you're the father of this child? I mean, it, it, it possibly can be. But your statement of the court says it could also be your cousin. Yes, yes. I, I'm almost afraid to ask, but the boyfriend is not the cousin. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring your cousin in, Mr. Thomas. Jerome, if you could go get Mr. Sure. Thomas, please. On the inside of Thank you for joining us, Mr. Thomas. How are you doing? Now, Mr. Thomas, we need to understand what was your relationship with Ms. Henderson? It's just like a friendship, one night thing, you know how it be. Some nights. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna need you to repeat that. I said it just a be little a, louder. It's like a one night thing, you know how it be. Some nights you might get drunk, be with somebody, might turn you on, just happen. Right. Okay, I never so it's a one night wrong. stand. Yes, so either you or your cousin, Mr. Goodson, is the father. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Mr. Thomas. You may have a seat. Miss Tori, let me go to your story. Basically, me and Charles been talking for some years now. I met him through my cousin because she was dating one of his people, and he said he was looking for somebody to talk to. And basically, I was like at a locked up facility where I could only come out on weekends, and we ended up having sex one of them weekends. And ever since I had my son, my son, he been denying him. Mr. Goodson, just tell the court what is going on. Well, me and Andrea, um, I like Andrea very much, um, but I feel like. She lied too much, like, she lied, um... I lie. She'd tell me something, but she'd tell me, like, six months later or whatever. But then six months later, it's in the past or whatever, so... Okay, I, wait, I can't... back it up. Or whatever. What is whatever? Give me specifics. Uh, I mean, she'd go cheat, like, she'd go mess around with somebody. Have sex with yeah, someone. Have sex with someone, and then she... Oh, is that what whatever is? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, now I get it. Whatever. He lied. Right. Oh, he Continue. Basically, she would call, she would call guys in my face or whatever, and I used to call guys. I, I mean, I used to call girls in her face, like to make each other mad or whatever. So one day, I like, I called, I got in her phone one day. I called this dude in her phone, and then the dude answered the phone. He was like, 
we had changed some words with each other. And then he was like, yeah, this my, is this my son. That's why I take, he was like, this is my son. Okay, watch your language. I'm sorry. He like, yeah, this is my son. So that was kind of really what made me wonder about her, like. So you were in a relationship. Yes, you are. And you say she was doing whatever, <laughs> which means cheating. And then some other guy gets on the phone and says, that's my son. Yes, he yes, did that to make him mad. So this was all a part of the game playing, Miss Tori. Right, but I didn't know the dude was going to say that. But I also asked her for a DNA test when we left the hospital, too, also. He ain't even signed a paper, so what are you talking about? Did anybody? No. Those children no. deserve to have that empty space filled. I know, because I had the same thing growing up. I ain't have a father, so I know how it feel. And knowing how it feels, you understand the importance of today and being in this courtroom, right? Yes, ma'am. You have two kids that you claim he's not taking care of. Right. Why do you think he's denying? Because look at him. He always, I don't know, he got insecurities. He's been saying I've been cheating ever since we met each other. Were you cheating? No. I even got his name tattooed on my neck. Like, how can you cheat on somebody like that? That's his well, name I, on your neck. And I, yeah. also, I also got your name on me, so tell him that. Yeah, he got my name on him. So. But you don't trust him <laughs> as far as you can throw him? And I mean, you like, don't he trust do the her. stuff. He I wouldn't the trust stuff him either. Face, when he was messing with her, he was messing with me. Right, and now she pregnant. This might be his baby. Right. Hold up. Oh. I don't know nothing about that, Your Honor. I he bet lying. you not. <laughs> he lying. Okay. Yeah. Now, Mr. Goodson, I want to go to your mother. Please stand, ma'am. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Now, Ms. Anderson, please tell me whether or not you believe these children are his. First of all, I don't want him to be like his dad, first of all. His dad got 17 kids, okay? And I'm here... 17? 17 <laughs> kids, okay? I'm here to stop my son from going through all that. Precious, I don't know about her. I know the baby. And I think myself is mine. I think the grandbaby is mine. Charles, he need to keep his privacy in his pants, you know, first of all. You don't you think know, your son is making good decisions? No, at all. He's not making no good decisions with his life at all. First of all, we're gonna start with these babies. When we bring babies in the world, then we got problems here. Because we got little kids that need a dad. And this is what I'm trying to <laughs> teach my son to be a good dad. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we're here today to see if these kids are his, but we can take care of these kids. Not me. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a grandparent, which I'm, I'm supposed to just be here as a grandparent. Mm -hmm. But him, I want him to be a successful father, you know. And as a parent, I feel sorry for these girls right here because I'm quite sure they knew what they was dealing with when they dealt with him, okay? Because first of all, he don't have a job. <laughs> I want you to take this opportunity, Ms. Anderson, and look at your son and explain to him why you're here with him. He know why I'm here. He know exactly why I'm here. He think it's a joke. See how he laugh? He think, he think things a joke. So but it's tell not him. a joke. It's not a joke, Chubby. We dealing with babies that's trying to see if you their dad, okay? Don't play. We ain't here to play, okay? You, Drill, you know better. You done had two kids by him. And I told you, mm. I told you from the first baby that I helped you, help you raise. Mm. I made okay? a mistake. Yeah, you made two mistakes. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even helping you with the first one. He didn't even have a damn job. So why would you have two? And then on top of it, I go get you a pill that we paid $50 for, and you take back and had a second baby? Come on, Nigeria. Told her that one. Tell me, you no, you me shut up. Day. You shut up. You shut up. OK, okay you shut up. <laughs> when I see y'all on the internet, all three of y'all baby mamas, OK, all three of y'all all on the internet, and this arguing start, over, arguing over men don't even and have a damn job. job. <laughs> And making all these damn babies like you crazy now if you got another one in there. What right. about your son here? Because he ain't no... I, you he, know what? He ain't no angel either, baby. Thinking, I, he ain't no angel Or is angel he just so not baby thinking? That pop up, he's not thinking. He say, when he say it's not his, you gonna believe him? 
point blank. What you say? When he, when the next baby pop up, you gonna say, oh, I believe you if he said that. No, ain't we're gonna go get a paternity test. We ain't gonna go all through no four but when years. I, no but, right. but did I we not ain't going say I was no gonna more. get a paternity test for Layla? You said, don't put him on child support. I got you. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna make him get, take care of your and baby. And that's what I meant. Exactly right. what, what I said. When Nothing. you called me and told me that you was gonna put him on child support, I said, would you give us time? He don't have nothing for having all these damn babies by him because he ain't all got right. nothing. All right. I, 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 I have heard enough. Now, we're going to go to the results of these three children. And now, Ms. Henderson, you are pregnant right now, and you pregnant. may be returning to this court to see who the father of this child is. Yes. Okay. Oh, my God. Jerome, can you hand me the envelope? Here you go. I'm on with this. I can't wait. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. In the case of Tori V. Goodson, when it comes to two-year-old Charles III, Mr. Goodson, you Are the father. I knew that. I knew that any damn way. In the case of Tory versus Goodson, when it comes to four-month-old Dreon, Mr. Goodson, you are the father. Huh? Come on. Let's go to Miss Henderson's results. Jerome, do you have the envelope? Yes, I do. Here you go, Your Honor. You think your kids, sugar? No. Let's get married. In the case of Henderson versus Goodson, and whether or not you, Mr. Goodson, or your cousin is the father, it has been determined that when it comes to four-year-old Lazasia, Mr. Goodson, you are the father. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoa. I don't think I have to say much because your mother has said it all. <laughs> Mr. Goodson, I don't know if you think this is a joke or whether you just haven't grown up enough to understand what it means to be a man and a father. I'm gonna I'm make a, I'm gonna make a change for my this, this day forward. What you gonna do? You gonna help your kids? <clears throat> That's what I want you to do as a parent. That's why I bought you here, Chuck. You gonna come and give her a dollar on her That's... birthday? <laughs> now listen. You know what? Before you all start condemning him, I must say that two young ladies that I have to agree with Miss Anderson sitting up running around with a guy with no job, and nothing to offer. You're not protecting yourself, even if he's too stupid to know he needs to put on a condom. You all need to be smart enough to know it. And you do know it. So the kids are here. What are you gonna do? You gonna step up to the plate and get it right for the kids? You don't want your kids standing in this courtroom before me 15, 20 years from now, do you? You don't want that. You don't want this for your kids, do you? No. no. Get it together. Court is adjourned. <laughs>